coal. Frozen when heaven extinguished the pyre. But one spark is enough to reignite a revolution. The Bone Shaker, our train, travels the rail connecting our two worlds. The last surviving remains of the pyre drives the heart of our engine. The gilded wing will stop at nothing to destroy it. But the champions of hell will defend what's ours. Because if we don't, there will be nothing left to defend. Hey, welcome everybody. This is your boy Rad. We're here to take a look at a game called Monster Train. It is a uh, deck building roguelike. Monster Train is literally sort of like Slay the Spire. It's just, uh, a strategic, I believe is the word to use, roguelike deck building game with a twist. It's set on a train to hell and you have to use your tactical decision making to defend multiple vertical battlegrounds with real time competitive multiplayer, which is what sets it apart from, from Slay the Spire. Uh, apparently it has endless replayability, so we're going to take a look and see what we like. And this is made by Shiny Shoe and Good Shepherd Entertainment. Alright, so let's take a look at this tutorial real quick. Alright, so we have, I guess that's our train here. And let's take a quick look at the settings first. We're not going to abandon our run. As we always do, we take a look at the settings to see what type of things you can get into before the game. Right now we have volume, and I love the fact that you can separate the volumes from the global volume, music, and sound effects, which is always good, especially for streamers. Combat preview. Combat preview appears in each unit stats, how much they can take damage. I think I might be kind of cheating, so we're not going to do that. Scroll while playing cards. Okay, we can do that. Tool tips. We're going to leave everything by default, all right? High quality. Um, looks like you're going to get HD regardless. Borderless, that's always good. V-Sync is always off. Okay, we're good. I think we're gonna be good there. All right, so let's go ahead and get back into this run. I'm really excited about this, the colors, the presentation. All right, let's see, Heaven's Priest. These disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of heaven and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. Okay, so I guess, you, I guess you're just using this as a tutorial. You don't get the pick, because there's three different factions you can use. And the three factions are all battling it out for the for the pyre. Ooh, nice. All right, this is your pyre. If it takes too much damage from enemy attacks, your run is over. Okay, so roguelike where you do runs and you try to do better on the next run and over and over again. Cool. And they serve slight like guide you. All right, so enemies have boarded your train. The enemies enter at the lowest level and move up one level every turn. If they reach the top, they'll attack the pyre. Some of you just to defend your train. You can play each unit card once per battle. Okay, so you exhaust a card. Oh, so these are the enemies, so I gotta come out and play. Let's see here. Let's see, let's do Alright, so 25. Alright, so let's can we Oh we can attack him in the back? Boom, I like that. Now she's saying that our creatures are pathetic. And let's go ahead and her down. I'm not even really thinking about strategy right now. I just want to not enough ember. Okay, so ember is what you can use to play your cards. Let's go ahead and end the turn for now. Wait, is this a champion? I guess I get to play my champion. Right, each floor of the train has limited capacity. The amount of space a unit to take up is indicated by the number of pips on the card. Okay, so that's good. So limited capacity, these pips here determine what unit you can play so I guess you can't just play like a, a six pip unit on this level all right so let's see here I have no more embers to do multi-strike all right let's go ahead and end the turn oh, she must have been weak sauce oh but he went up a level okay 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 let's see here so we can restore or we can use can I go okay I can go up here let me see if I can deal with this person first Let's do 
wait, I only got three ember. Two damage, two, four, uh, come on. I feel like I need to deal with her first. All right, so now I have one, and let's go ahead and put you there. And I have no more ember. Okay, and also you can go through the levels of your train here. Oh, it's only, it's only like four levels. Okay, all right, and I'm really digging the music. The music kind of has a uh, phonetic feel to it, energetic, so to speak. And then I like the uh, background scrolling there. It gives you a sense of, hey, we're actually going somewhere and doing something. All right, so I can't really heal anybody or do anything. So we're going to go ahead and in turn. Okay, cool. So we stopped her and multi-attack. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh, you got to go. Oh, I got to I gotta get rid of that guy right there. Not that I have him. Okay. All right, so he's good for now. Can I move? Okay, so you can't move him once they're placed. And we can do... Okay, I feel like I might need to heal him. Go ahead and throw another steward there. And there's two pips, so I can't fit any more people there. If I restore, is that going to restore everyone or just me? Let's go ahead and do a restore since I have it. I don't want to waste that. Let's go down here and restore that guy in case some more enemies try to board my train. And I think that's pretty much it. So you have your health here, your prior health. Number of decks in your car. Oh, you can see, I guess, is this the number of cards that I've played so far? I've only done two heals, so I think this is just my entire deck right here. And then I guess you just randomly pull, so that's cool. And then primary clan is Hellborn, Allied Clan, cool. Current ring, current ring limbo. How far you traveled through the rings of hell. Final boss. Okay, it tells you who your final boss is. Oh, you can increase the game speed. And here's I guess your sort of your map. Okay, nice. And again, the goal is to get the heart to the end to reclaim hell or to reignite hell. So we're going to end turn. All right, so I like that. Two attacks, boom, and healed. All right, they're healed, and they're up to the next floor again. Whoa, okay, this guy looks, all right, defeat the boss to win the battle. His relentless ability means that you will com means that combat will continue in this room until you or he is defeated. Okay, so let me see. I can put the steward in here. Let's get the steward down. And I can't really do anything. Ooh, can I do? Okay, yeah, so I could. So you can attack. Oh, so you can attack on any level. Just you have to keep going. He's going to keep fighting until you kill him. But you can attack on any level. And I think that's pertinent. I think, is, is she going to move up to there while I... I kind of feel like I want to start attacking him. But I don't know if I should deal with her. She's only going to do two damage. On the pyre, apparently has an attack rating too. So the pyre may actually kill her. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And then they attack on their own after the turn. So let's end turn. There we go. Boom, boom. Nice. I love that double attack. Nice. Okay, calm down. Oh, that's what the relentless thing is. He keeps fighting until the attack is over. Okay, so he's there. That's that's fine. That's fine. So this one, the enemies died. He froze that one because you know the pyres appear. The pyre can't attack back. So I think that's a really cool feature. All right, so we have two pips. Can't put any more people there. I can restore that person's health. Apply one gen. And he's gonna do four, and I have three. So let's go ahead and just see if I can weaken him enough to where we're gonna end that turn. There we go. All right, so we got a victory there, an easy victory. Battle, battle one plus one thousand damage taken. Okay, coins, clan deck, allied deck. All right, nice. All right, so we can. Oh, we get to choose a card. Now I think this card goes permanently to our deck. So let's take a look here. We got fledgling imp. Summons is triggered when played. Plus two per stack decreases every turn and apply rage to friendly units i don't know about that one apply rage six apply armor ooh, to friendly unit armor is dealt before 
Damage is dealt to armor before health. Each point of armor blocks one point of damage. Okay, so what do you want to do? Plus two per stack decreases every turn. I don't know what we want to... I feel like armor is good. But I feel like this is important too. Apply three rage to friendly units with 15 armor. Uh, you know what? We're going to go with 15 armor. Okay. Alright. Restore 10 health to a friendly unit. Deal damage to front enemy unit. Equal to 5 amount healed. That might be cool. And steel enhancer. Enhance a unit with 3. Okay. So the steel enhancer might be kind of cool too. And deal 5 damage to the front enemy unit. Draw plus 1 next turn. Oh. So this gives you an extra draw after you poison someone. Alright. So... And I guess this really kind of depends on how you want to play. What, are you going to be aggressive? Like, are we going to be aggressively heal and deal damage? Are we just going to be about damage for one particular unit? Or are we going to try to draw and get more out of our cards? It only deals five damage. Uh, you know what? I think this, that, got, that has the potential to be 50. But this doesn't cost anything. I think this would be good. That might be good in the long run. So you got a one card out of each little classification. Okay, nice. Also, you have to pick. You have to pick which direction you want to go. And then I guess the train goes this direction, and it'll pass by these. Merchant of Magic and Merchant of Steel. Forge units to gain new powers. Forge your spells to gain new powers. Gain an Awoken unit. Gain a Hellborn unit. Ooh. So, I guess the choices do kind of matter. I'm all about the Hellborn, but I kind of want to I want to forge my units to gain new powers. Or do I want to be all magic spell stuff, you know? I don't know. Well, let's try... Let's go this way, because I, I want that Hellborn unit. Alright, so you can purge a card from your deck. So, I guess there's a... Is there a limit on the number of cards you can have? And you can... Alright, so upgrade a spell cost to... Upgrade a spell with plus 10 magic power and upgrade a spell to gain double stack. Alright, double stack. Status effects added by this card are double. So I don't have any cards that do a status effect. Meteorite, I don't think, burns. This increases the amount of damage dealt and health restored by spells. So that'll give me more. I think I had 5 or 2 for that meteorite spell that I have. And this lowers the cost of the spell. So if it's minus one and the other spell cost one, does that mean I can use that spell to cast fire for free? <laughs> oh, I can. Okay, so let me see. So now it's only going to do one though. But I think a free. I think the chance is getting. Oh, and I can. St I still have enough money for this. All right. I kind of forgot what I was doing. Let's go back. Okay, upgrade. Okay, so so then can I take that one that I got a zero with and make it... Oh, that's going to be nice. Look at that. I'm already loving this. So now, I'm going to be good. I don't think I need to purge any cards, any deck, any cards from my deck. Let's go ahead and leave that merchant. All right, let's see. Steelworker Resolve, gain armor five, and Hellhorned Warrior. 30 attack, yes, I will take that. All about the aggression, right? All right, so Barb Disciples. These spike foes make direct attacks more painful using spells from afar will let you fight without sacrificing units. All right, let's do it. So I guess these are more, this is the, the third faction, I believe. We just fought like the angels, I think. So this looks good, I like this. The game gameplay seems fun. It, it's not a whole lot of reading for the cards. Oh, they're angry. Okay. All right, so he has five and five. I think multi-strike is probably going to end up hurting him. But they have to get... No, they're going to... They're, they're actually going to move up. Ooh, can I... Do I need to put... I can put him on each level. Oh, so now you have to plan vertically, too. So if you have a, a foe that you know... And the scroll mouse, the scroll wheel goes up and down, too. So if you know that they're going to make it to the next floor, you can actually plant your, you can plan out your strategy vertically. That's nice. I like that. Okay, so we're going to put you here, because we can't just let them go by. 
Uh, combat previews are unable. The preview number shows the amount of damage each unit will take during the next phase. A red X means the unit will be... Okay, so he's going to take three damage. So let me... It's going to take two damage. It's going to take one damage. All right, so we'll end turn. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Nice. All right, so... Now we want to get rid of her. Oh, look at that. And I got my... Okay, I'm not going to waste... Because you're going to do 12 damage. So I'm going to put him probably on this guy here. There we go. So that'll weaken him enough. Now he's got five left. I think he can finish him off from there. And then they've got one and one. And then she's got one. I'm going to go ahead and throw something up here to get rid of her. And maybe I can place a steward down to assist him. And then let's go ahead and do a restore on this guy. And that's it. I have no more embers. Everybody's looking good. I'm feeling confident about the choices I've made in life. Look at that. It's nice. Alright, so they're up there. Okay, so he's got a ranged attack. And in order to just... Oh, there's that one card I just got. So let's go ahead and... Alright, poison him and got rid of him. The next, the next turn, I get to draw more cards. So let's go ahead and put him there to help out. Let's go ahead and restore. And restore. And yeah, no one's getting no one's getting to my power on this train. Alright, so where's the boss at? There should be a boss. Final wave. Alright, so lost knight of disciples. Relentless combat in this room continues to all. Okay, so he's just gonna keep going until. You know everyone's dead and deals two damage to enemy unit that attacks this one and then i got her in the back okay so once if they defeat these guys they're going to come up to my second row of defenses that i already have set up so that's awesome so now i need to get rid of her i definitely need to get rid of her heals other friendly units oh no other friendly units on the same floor gets bonus spikes so no we're going to go ahead and definitely all right got rid of the spikes for him and we're going to go on this means they're going to die. Remember, they said this red X means that unit's going to die. So let me see if I can... Oh, well, I think it's still going to die. All right, let's go ahead and just burn him. We'll end turn and we'll see... What... Oh, that is horrible. Ouch. All right, it's all right. I, I, I planned for this. I planned for this. Okay, that means he's going to die. So let me see if I can throw... All right, put the armor guy up here. He's going to die. But he's going to attack, and he's going to attack, and he'll attack. Okay, so this is going to keep going back and forth. So I can do poison for him. See if I can go restore on everybody. Maybe that'll stop them from dying. Doesn't look like it. Okay, he's just doing too much damage. There's nothing I can do about that. There you go. How does that work? Oh man, I'm gonna have to go back and look at this. Do you want to speed up? Okay, let's speed up. It did speed up for me automatically. Okay, so he's there. So he's only got six left. So technically, let's get the steward up here, right? Ooh, I can do 12. You know what? I'm glad I invested in that. Look at that. You guys thought I made bad choices in life. Boom, done. Done, sir, done. Get off my train. So now I get a card out of this pack and that pack like I did last time, 50 more gold. And I got no damage from my pyre. All right, so I can, ooh, I can move a unit up a level. That's gonna be definitely um, good and deal two times damage. Spends all the remaining ember and deals two times damage. The amount of, the amount spent magnifies results. So I can use a mass like AOE spell for the floor or I can take a unit and move it up if I need to. I feel like this would be good if I'm starting to struggle. And then I could do armor for my units too. So I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Maybe weaken the entire room. And it doesn't. Oh, and it's going to use all my ember. So, uh, all right. I think I think because I'll have six ember, and I can do that means I could do twelve for every one on the floor. This might be more beneficial than this. 
moving a unit up a floor. So let's, hopefully I get a chance to come back to that later. Let's do this one. Now for the next one. Apply five regen, restore two health for all friendly units and deal two damage and deal five. Okay, so we already have one of these, but we have Glimmer, where you can restore two health and then deal two damage to all friendly units for the whole floor or, or apply five regen. But this is for one person. This is all units. So we're going to do that. We're going to try to maximize, you know, the cost we get with the, with the AOEs and stuff. All right, let's do one more. One more. I think I like this game. This game is going to... Ooh, gain an artifact. Forge your spells to gain new powers. Restore 20 prior health and gain a hellborn. All right, so my pyre only has two health. I don't... Was that... Will that stack? Like, can I go up 20? Like, will it... So what it was, let's let's be risky. Let's take a chance here. I can either gain a new unit, which I can definitely use, because all I have now are the stewards and those horn things, or I can stack. You know, I don't think it's going to stack. It wouldn't make sense. Later on, if I play this and it stacks, I'm going to be angry. So let's see if we can gain an artifact. All right, friendly units gain a plus three. Friendly units enter with rage three. So they get plus two to attack, but they get three health. I'm going to do this. All right, cool. So the artifacts, kind of like Slay the Spire, where you get modifiers. And I guess it stays for the for this whole run. So that's cool. So now I get a plus three to health. And oh, I could use another brand of water. Yeah, you know what? And then this right here, he gets five armor when he comes in. They both do ten damage, but he, you know what? They both do 10 damage, but he has 18 and he does more armor. And then he does a plus 2 to attack, but he gives everyone a, an attack buff. I have I have both of these already. And this, and this triggers after dealing a killing blow. This triggers after combat. And he only does for himself. This one has to, he has to kill someone first, and then everyone else gets a plus two to attack after he kills someone. Uh, let's do this. We're going to be aggressive. We're going to be aggressive. Ooh, concealed. Now, was that there before? Ooh, nice. Oh, look at that. There's just so much to pay attention to. As you pass the train graveyard, you notice several of your fallen allies. Within the beast of gnarled steel lie extinguished pyre shards. Even further inside the rubble, you can make out some last protected treasures. Perhaps if you were to relight the pyre shards using some of your own, the trains would reveal their value. Alright, so when your pyre kills a unit, restore five health. Upgrade a unit with ooh, ooh. And this one is friendly units plus ten and heartless. Heartless can't be healed. Hmm. I'm going to go with this one. When your pyre kills a unit, restore five health. We need longevity. A pyre shard flickers to life from tra the treasures within now revealed as the pyre moves to its final defense. Yet as you leave, the pyre shards go out once more. This time for good. You are all that is left. Okay, so there's, I guess there's other trains all trying to get these pyres back to hell. And they all got destroyed, so I'm the last one. I feel like Snowpiercer. And I totally messed that word up. Snowpiercer. I don't know why I said it's so weird. Ooh, look at that. So there's tons of things to look at. I like... I like the fact that it's just not a stat... Oh, you can... Oh, that's a lot. You can scroll up and down with the mouse wheel, too. I like this. This is going to be fun. Right, so how do you find your... Is there a way to just center back on, on where you're at? I haven't gotten there. Okay, I'm here now. Daedalus. All right, I think we got time for one more. We got it, heavenly armor creations protect the ex-professor in his quest to safeguard Seraph and the Winged. All right, plating seal. Constructed explosives enter with damaged shield. So I guess these are different bosses you fight. All right, let's go for it. So let's see if all the new cards I got actually help. Right, battle effect. Constructed explosives enter with damage shield. I don't understand what that means. Nullify the next source damage. 
Constructed explosives enter with damage to it. I guess I'll, I guess it'll make sense. Data is the strongest boss you face. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear out other enemies in front of him. Wow. Okay. That is, and that's what the the uh, damage thing was. The bomb has triggered ability and will explode on its turn, dealing damage. Mouse over units with their purple trigger icon to see the details in their ability. All right. So despawn and deal 10 damage to the front enemy unit and then this is right here nullify the source of the damage so he has a, I think this is the damage shield because it's for explosives so they're just gonna die there's no way to actually beat this until it blows up it's gonna blow up on his own all right so here's what we're gonna do we are going to put you up front and then let's go ahead and get multi-strike in the back and then deal two damage to let's do that and then see it won't do a buff i don't know if i you know what should i put you know what no 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 we're gonna plan for the long haul let's get you let's go up one floor and get you there there we go all right in turn we'll see what's gonna happen there you go his armor protected him from the explosion he comes in and does his two swipey mcswipeys and now he moves up here and puts up another shield. Okay. So now, uh, triggers when you cast it. So he's got a trigger. Okay, he gets one damage when you cast a spell on that floor. So he's gonna go from he's gonna go up to three, but I want to get rid of him. Definitely want to get rid of him. Alright, so then we'll leave that alone for now. And then we're gonna have to figure out how to deal with her. She's gonna do somebody's going to do damage where it's going to kill this guy so let's go ahead and do that and will this work i'm probably going to waste this restore but we're going to do that anyway and let's see what happens yep totally wasted so i can't cast any more spells on this floor all right so now he's up to this they're just making quick work all right so She's got to go. So let's do... Steward is going to be there. Get that damage from you. steward has got to be there. Damage you. In turn. And that steward died, but got, hopefully that poison worked. Alright, so now we're up to the pyre. Look at that. And it healed itself for five. Nice. I did make good choices. Alright. Now he's back down there. And he's going to be causing some hate and discontent. They're both going to die. And I don't know how to save them. So I can deal. I could use all of this. To deal 6 damage to all of them. And I think I can leave. I, can I leave? I could use one. Let me put one Stuart. Here. Right, and then I come here, and use that, which gave him more, unfortunately. And then now that the sh oh, not enough ember because the shield's gone now. All right, let's see what happens. All right, he's good on that floor. Thank you for that floor. No attack, and they got wiped out pretty good. Okay, this is gonna be rough. All right, so here's what we got. Do we work, do we leave them alone and focus our efforts here? Because I think this one's going to end up killing her. I think we want to put you there, put you there, in turn. Let's see what happens. And actually, I did another spell which gave him more attack power. He's blocking. Is gonna kill her. I've only got. Okay, the fire's still doing pretty good because she's not doing enough damage to lower the health. Alright, so now. And if I can't attack him. Oh, I can. He's got 230 something health. That's horrible. Alright, so let's. um, Let's see here. Let's. I really need to get rid of this guy, and it's gonna make him stronger if I don't. So. 
two, four, six, seventeen. Let's do that and that and then and I uh, keep forgetting I can't do that. Now he's healed up. There we go. There you go. Good job, Pyre. And now he's back up to 80 because he healed for 5 after they attacked. But that floor is dead to me. I can't do anything now because I had nothing on that floor to defend. Uh, deal 5 damage to the front enemy. Draw plus 1 next turn. Alright, so. And do heal. Heal. And then a little bit of damage on you. And then... Store two health to all friendly units and damage. Yada yada. Hmm, five and eleven. I'll do that just to just to get more damage on him. There you go. Regen worked. Of course, you knew he was gonna die. He did two. He did five. So my power is good there. And now I have to hold the line here. Okay, so. Let's get you out here. You're gonna die at the next hit, but you're gonna be you're gonna be fine. Restore two health to all friendly units. And right, let's see if we can stack the health a little bit and get good one there. And boom. all right, let's see what we can get into. Oh, yeah. okay. So oh, let's see if my. Um, we're gonna make it. Can we speed it up? Or we're gonna die. That's alright. Well, you know what? It's still a good game. It's still a good game. I like it. So that's over, and then you could just do standard run. I got to level three, and now I can choose to do a new run. And then we can choose our primary clan. All right, so I'm liking this game. I'm not going to choose a clan just yet. I think I want to do a read up and see what some maybe some of the future units are. But it's got a multiplayer. I'm really excited about that. So again, this is a game called Train. I was going to say Hell Train. All right, this is a game called Hell, uh, Monster Train. And again, it's a, a deck, a roguelike deck building game. And it's got a, it's got a lot going for it. A nice little twist made by Shiny Shoe and Good Shepherd Entertainment just came out in early access a little while ago. Everybody else is playing it. And I figured, you know what? Why don't I try it? So I appreciate you guys joining me. I'm really looking forward to playing this, and maybe I'll see you guys on, and maybe we can see, you know, whose train's going to get to the stop first. All right, guys, if you catch me on, challenge me. I'll catch me on the train. How about that? All right, that's enough of that craziness. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for joining me, and you know what? Have a great day.